Welcome back to Ninja Warrior Fam, where we share tips and tricks from our obstacle racing adventures. My name is John, and today I'm going to take you through a series of progressions from zero to your first pull-up. To work on these progressions, you're going to need a resistance band, a pull-up bar, and a low bar such as an adjustable height squat rack, a fence railing, or something else that you can use to pull yourself up to that's low to the ground. The early steps toward a pull-up are all much easier to accomplish with the assistance of a low bar, a supportive resistance band, and support provided by your own feet and body. Feel free to use your feet to help you in achieving these exercises for as long as necessary, but do try to move away from using any additional support when you can. When you feel comfortable doing pull-up sets on the low bar, you are ready to move on to the standard pull-up bar. Depending on the height of the bar, you may need a step stool or plyo box to help you get closer to the bar for these first few progressions. If you don't have a step stool or plyo box handy when performing the descends, you can also jump to get yourself up to the bar. When performing scapula shrugs, do your best to only engage the muscles of the back and shoulders and avoid bending your elbows as I do here at the end. When performing assisted negative chin-ups or assisted negative pull-ups, you're going to be combining some of the previous exercises using a resistance band to help support your body weight, pulling yourself all the way up to the bar and then slowly letting back down as in the descend. Don't forget to give yourself plenty of time to rest and recover fully in between these workouts. They will put a lot of strain on your body in ways that maybe you're not used to. It's okay to take a couple days off. Take your time, focus on mastering each progression, and before you know it, you'll master the pull-up too. 